Um, we're just going to show everyone our Willy Wagtail family that's nested and started to breed in some trees that we dug out about a month ago. So as you can see, this is mum and dad here. Wow. wow, how's that? And this is the three babies up in the nest. They're about nine days old at the moment. They should fledge in another week or so. The babies in the nest have been alive for probably approximately two weeks. They're approximately two weeks old. Um, their main predators at that age would be snakes and other birds, predatory birds. I think they've actually chosen to nest in the shade house because it's got a, a covering over the top, so they're protected from above. Um, and it's quite clear underneath, so if there is a snake or a lizard coming around, the parents can deal with it earlier rather than later. The Willy Wagtail nest is a small cup-shaped nest uh, consisting mainly of spiderweb, lichen and animal hairs and fibres, which they collect off the fences from the cattle, sheep and dogs that we've got running around the farm and anywhere they can find spiders web, I guess. Yeah, well, the, the Willy Wagtails are nesting now due to springs here, so all the babies are gonna start arriving in the, on the property and in the bush. Uh, we've got galahs, the rosellas, uh, lorikeets nesting in some of the hollows on some of the older trees on the property. Uh, we've got magpies, butcher birds, Tawny frogmouth, carawongs nesting in some of the windrows around the farm, um, and hopefully some of the nest boxes I've installed will have inhabitants at the moment as well. They eat feed on insects, um, and the noise you can hear they're making at the moment when they're stressed. If there's snakes and things, or lizard, or goannas and things like that around, they'll make noise, so it's a bit of a warning for everyone else that's around in the bush or on the farm. As you can see, the trees have been transplanted from the western side of the property. Uh, we moved them over. Two weeks later, the birds built their nest, and about a week after the nest was built, they had babies. Um, so it looks like it's a a bit of a habitat that we move from one side of the property to the other and it's working, it's bringing in native wildlife, <laughs> even though we're in a shade house. But when we plant them out, they'll provide homes for birds and possums and insects. They're just a cute little bird who's just busy and active all day.